Hey Capricorn Collective, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's pull some cards for my Capricorns. Why did you meet the person on your mind? Wow. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have emotional freedom. Okay, it says reclaim your power and make healthier choices and be you. Okay. We have spiritual maturity. Tolerance, agree to disagree, open-minded, res respect differences, and unlearning. So this person came as a spiritual teacher, okay? Even if you feel like they were not the best person to you or are not the best person to you, I don't know yet. Um, it could go either way based on these cards. For some of you, this person has come into your life to teach you to um, see things from a higher perspective, okay? You two met to level one another up spiritually. Okay, so let's see to grow each other up because I'm seeing spiritual maturity and emotional freedom. Some of you, this person came into your life to help you to heal abandonment, abandonment wounds I just heard, like childhood traumas. Okay, things you were holding on to that you needed to let go of to set yourself free emotionally. Understand it could be vice versa. It could, be, You know what I'm saying? It could be both of you. We have the eight of pentacles. For some of you, this could be someone you work with. Virgo energy, or this is someone you're in a relationship with. It says learning all you can about a subject or career. Going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail and skilled work that you love. So, no matter what capacity you're connected to this person, whether love or not, friendship or not, you know, work or not, this person came to teach you to finish what you start. You two met one another to understand the importance of something being a work in progress and actually seeing it through. Not quitting, not giving up. So, let's see what that's about. Something about eight years could be significant. Again, it could be a Virgo. These people are working together. For some of you, I mean, it does say here that, you know, to be open-minded, respect differences, and agree to, dif to disagree with unlearning and tolerance. This is actually about learning. So it start, starts off of learning all you can about a subject or career. For some of you, this may not be emotional. This might be something um, you're dealing with. You could be in training at work right now or something like that. We'll have to see. It also could have come to teach you patience, okay, to learn to be more tolerant. The Eight of Pentacles is very much about patience, okay? Practice makes perfect is what that card represents, okay? So, again, seeing something through, not quitting. This person could be very encouraging and supportive of you. We have the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Wow. I feel like this person actually came into your life to help you to carry some burdens in your life. If you look here... These people are walking arm in arm like they're hugging each other going up this path here. This, oop, this path to enlightenment, okay, here. So this is someone who came along to hold your hand through your most difficult times, Capricorn. Okay, for some of you, this person has taught you how to be patient, but at the same time, don't procrastinate with the Eight of Wands. This is when you, when you need to strike while the iron is hot, okay? There's something that's here available, happening, uh, some opportunities, whatever. And it's like you got to seize these opportunities when they present themselves and don't drag your feet. Although it's okay to be patient, it's okay to be diligent and see things through. They also taught you some kind of balance. You have two eights here. Okay. And the eights are all about cultivation. This person has come into your life as a teacher of some sort. Okay, and, and it feels very much like a, a support person in your life, whether a lover or not. Okay, and again, it could be a, a, a Virgo or a Sagittarius. I don't know why I can't talk. Too much going on, stress caused by many opportunities, many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask and business travel. Okay, this does talk about uh, meeting someone on a vacation, holiday or something like that. So maybe this is someone you met. You could work with this person. You could have gone on a business trip with this person for some of you. It doesn't have to be that, but that's what that card represents. So this is something snowballing. It's the domino effect. For some of you, this is somebody who came into your life to help you to grow. This represents perfect timing, something gaining momentum. It just feels like they came into your life to really show you the way is what I just heard. Because there's a song that came out back in the day. When it says something about show me the way, now I lost the lyrics. Show me the way. I was just hearing it. Anyway, so we have the star, Aquarius energy. Nice. This person came to teach you to love again. For some of you, this is a lover. This is somebody who's very inspirational 
or they're seeing you this way, or you're both seeing each other this way. This is a card of healing. It's a card of optimism and having faith to go after your dreams. For some of you, this could be a mentor, okay? It says, have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times Times in the light at the end of the tunnel. This is also a very spiritual card. It represents your seven chakras and your chi energy, which is your soul. All being in alignment. Wow. So this, this relationship is very, it has a lot of undertones of inspiration. Okay, I don't know who this person is to you, but they came to teach you this spiritual maturity and emotional freedom. And this is healing after a heartbreak. So this could be someone you're falling in love with or fell in love with after you got your heart broken by someone else. Bottom of the deck is two of swords. Well, let's go back here. Making healthier choices and being open-minded. The two of swords shows up Libra energy. And this is all about being very close-minded. It's, it's the energy of rejecting or denying or ignoring something, okay? Um, something being at a stalemate. I really feel like this person came to push you out of a comfort zone, okay? Where maybe you were like sitting on the fence about something. You were in two minds. You were indecisive. This person came to teach you how to um, navigate life from a higher perspective, okay? Seeing things from a higher perspective and getting this emotional freedom. So for some of you, they came to break you out of old patterns, okay? And they're very patient with you. They're very diligently helping you to overcome it. And I feel like it's one of these situations where something that may have been dragging along in your life, any aspect of your life, this person came to help you to heal it and heal it quickly. This card says, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, follow your own heart. Well, that's what it told you to do here. Not here. <laughs> well, I'm tripping. Forget it. That was somebody else, Lord. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Okay, rather than to trying to make others happy, pretending there is no problem, overanalyzing a situation, yeah. So this is the energy of thinking on your feet, problem solving in real time, okay? Things are coming at you like this, but you know how to handle it. That's what this person came into your life for. This is why you met this person. And again, it doesn't have to be a lover, but that's Libra energy, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Virgo. Okay? Let's get some advice for you. Advice for Capricorn, please, spirit. Peace. They came to bring peace. Nice. Nothing can disrupt my peace. The angels remind you to make being peaceful a priority in your life. Practice peace every day in quiet thought deep meditation, or in serene action. Use the power of peace to make your life a thing of rhythm and grace. Wow. This person could be a role model or they're seeing you as a role model. Someone could be in the spotlight here. Okay. I just heard grace under fire. They came to teach you grace under fire. How to handle situations from a spiritually mature and emotionally mature place. Emotionally intelligent place. We have flow. Okay, and it says things happen when they are supposed to. This is a reminder from your angels to trust in the flow of the universe. That's crazy because look what's next, the wheel of fortune. And that's very much about being in flow, <laughs> going with the flow. You know, what will be, will be, and trust in the process. Okay, it says always follow your intuition when making decisions. With positive changes and opportunities on the horizon, now is a great time for you to take action and move forward in your life. This is very much about swift action, swift changes rapid changes okay communication movement all of that so i really do feel like this person came to teach you how like i said to work through some things to expedite some things you may have been you know dragging your feet on a little bit and to heal so this is not bad at all these readings today are, are very positive i love it all right y'all like subscribe with the notification bell and i will see you all next time i hope you enjoyed this reading capricorn I don't have a schedule, y'all, so I know my readings be all over the place. Sometimes y'all don't get readings because I have to kind of like um, compartmentalize. I can't do 12 readings a day like I used to because um, it really does affect my voice. So I'm trying to figure some, something out here, but y'all know I'll be having a lot going on. So hopefully um, we'll get some kind of continuity, some consistency sooner or later. But thank you all for joining me. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, please.